Ray Donovan, a new dark Showtime drama, debuts this Sunday starring Liev Schreiber as a Hollywood fixer who erases problems for high-profile clients. Let's take a look at his work. She did, dog. She dog, man. I don't even know her, man. I met her last night. I don't do drugs. I'm an athlete. Listen to me. Don't touch anything. Don't call anyone. I'm sending someone over now. I just signed an $80 million endorsement, cuz. TMZ was following me around last night. Calm down. I'm on it. Just sit tight. All right, WSJ's John Jurgensen recently spoke to the actor about his insecurities on getting hired and the struggle of reconnecting with his kids after shooting dark and intense scenes. John, so for people who are like, what exactly is a Hollywood fixer? <laughs> um, tell us sort of the plot behind the series. I think I'd like a fixer. Wouldn't you like a yeah, fixer? Yeah, that'd be Let's nice to fixer. have, right? Someone to just take care <laughs> yeah, of these problems for us. Well, it's, it's kind of an antiquated uh, job profession. You know, back in the day of Hollywood, they would have people, private investigators, folks who worked on the shady side of things who would take care of problems, make things go away, scan handles averted, yeah. things like that. I guess the closest thing to that right now is lawyers, but but <laughs> but uh, Lia's character is a, from that throwback model where he uh, works on the shadows of the industry and uh, makes things go away if they're bad news. Why is he, I mean, you spent some time speaking with him, why is he the right guy for this role? I mean, I know some people call it kind of hybrid Tony Soprano, yeah. Vincent Chase character. Yeah, character. I mean, it, it's a strange mix because you have uh, his, his family, who's in the show, uh, is from South Boston. He's a South Boston tough guy. Uh, family transplanted to Hollywood so this is a mix of sort of like tough guys with the glitz of Hollywood and the, the sort of stereotypes of Hollywood are played in here as well so you have this real mix of Sopranos with entourage kind of thing um, but he's he's got this you know he's not necessarily a, a stereotypical leading man for for Hollywood films right. feature films he's not a pretty boy yeah um, he but he's got this kind of rough edge uh, great acting skills that sort of make him tailor-made, I think, for the, uh, the the cable model, which has really come on strong in recent years. Yeah, he'd be a tough guy, but there's like some little tender thing underneath it. I don't know if they want me to think that or not, but I still think that. I think, that, uh, I think Naomi, that's what they want you to think. All right, yes, well, Naomi, you get the both. Naomi Watts, his wife, she probably thinks that too. Um, but I'm wondering, you play these dark roles. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think I think about uh, the late James Gandolfini playing this Tony Soprano. You internalize it all day. How did you ask him about like how he reconnects with his family? His kids after this well he yeah he volunteered that that this has been a real struggle for him because a he's based in New York his family's based in New York so he has to go to LA hey. for this long shooting schedule uh, and then just immerse himself in this pretty dark often violent role um, and felt isolated lonely disconnected and just kind of inside this character and talked about a real hard time he had just trying to adjust to family life, which I guess is really important for him with these young children that he's trying to see as much as possible. But TV for him is a livelihood issue, it's a career issue because you have regular work, he's, if he's 45 years old, he's worried about where his career is going to go, right. and if he's going to keep getting these roles on a regular basis. This is, this is uh, like taking more of a steady job. You know, well, first of all, if you have like that cross-country commute for anybody, that's going to make it hard. And then you, know, on top of it, you play that role. But I, I think it's interesting. I was reading a little bit of your conversation before uh, we started talking, and he seemed to be very blunt with you about saying, "I'm not a typical leading man in Hollywood." Right. Um, that's an interesting thing to say because most people are trying to position themselves to be a leading man. Why does he think that, and what do you, where do you think that comes from? Well, I think he's his career sort of speaks for himself. You know, on stage, he's a, he's he's got a Tony Award winner. He's really proven himself on stage. Stage, and in these supporting roles where he's really come on strong and had a strong presence but as I said he's not the sort of like the the yeah. glamour boy for the leading man so I think I don't think he's any jeopardy he's not jeopardizing any leading roles that might be coming down the pike True. and here in TV he has one and so many actors in recent years have really found a home in TV and if the show does well right. uh, this could go on for years and this could be kind of a, a new definition for his career right. going you look, forward you look what happened in Homeland yep all right John Jurgensen thanks so much for being with us. My pleasure. Appreciate it. More in the arena section tomorrow.